All right, so we're starting to learn this program called Robot C. So Monday, nothing major here. Just look about the, the programming, the vocabulary, watch the video, answer these questions on this assignment down here. But as far as the rest of the assignments go, um, these we found out that you guys can do the coding using an online version of the program. Here's how. Under Rapid Identity, you should have a little app called Industrial Tech Amazon Web Service. Uh, if you don't, go up to your web address bar and do a whole new search for my.ist728.org. Don't use the bookmark one. Go to a brand new typing in of it. Hit enter. Let it open a brand new, brand new window. Okay. Go to the Industrial Tech AWS Lab Apps icon. It's going to ask you for what stream you want to service. We want to use the one called Industrial Tech. And it's going to ask you which program you want to use. Oops, hold on. Mine jumped ahead. That's quite all right. So yours, let me click end the session. End the session. Jump back in again. Industrial Tech. Sign in. All right. We want to use the one called Robot C. Robot C. Um, retry. It's fine. Oh, it's going to be silly today, isn't it? One more try, then I'll see what's going on. Okay. It's about a two minute process to log into your service. It's got a it's got to log into a server. I believe it's somewhere in Nebraska. So that was told. So to find your account, to log in as you, to pick the program, take some time. So let it load and I'll be right back. All right. So let it um, load the settings of your program. It'll be a little bit longer yet. So maybe get up, go for a quick wellness walk, come back, get some water, come back. Um, something come back. So hold on. All right. So the thing I noticed most about this online version of Robot C is that it wants to resize the program window to fit your Chromebook screen. All right. Now I can see my tabs open, my web address bar up here. If I want, I can expand my whole screen, but I don't want to do that yet. First, I'll make sure I'm able to save my, my programs. I write a program, I want to be able to save it. And to do is go to the My Files tab. You will see up here a little plus sign. This says Add an iCloud device. But you want to add the device of your Google Drive. Mine's been added already, so mine's here. You push the little plus button, pick Google Drive, and add it. Okay, that part's done. Now if I want, I can go to full screen mode. Let it resize, or I could come back. I'll keep mine small because we can see better on the screen here. Let it resize. So this like it shows in the videos, um, the coding I do. You can pause the video and you can code along with us. How? Go to new file. Make sure you have the platform type of the VEX 2.0 Cortex picked, and then make sure you have robot platform type the one called natural language project either way picked and then now under natural language here's all your codes so you can code as i code so for your assignment for the day you could either do what it asks you to do by having you complete the worksheet version which are down here okay so for the worksheet ones you can either let's look at the actual document itself you can either Type in the code because it says to give information, write the code necessary to run the program. You can type it in or send me a screenshot of your code. Okay. Um, all I ask is for your coding. If you do make your own coding, um, use your motors as your names. Okay. 
So for instance, say your name is Joe Smith. Maybe for your motor, you call your motor Joe, right? That's your name. And then maybe for your device, if you have a device, um, you call it Smith. That way, I know it's your program, not somebody else's. So in the screenshot, what I would see is I would see up here, Joe Smith. So take a screenshot, send that, or type it in. You have options, okay? Um, pick the one you want to use, and let me know how it's going. Thank you.